teacups, welcome back to my channel. So it has been a hot minute since I've made a video and I got my hair cut and lightened since the last time I saw you guys. And I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to see an autumn try on haul or a book shopping vlog and it was pretty 50-50. So my mom asked if I wanted to go shopping today so I thought I would do the book shopping vlog today and then tomorrow I can film the autumn try on haul. I am planning on getting Zoe's new book, Cordially Invited. I am so excited for it. This is her first nonfiction book and it's about like party planning and making every day a special occasion. And I actually spent all of last week uh, fixing up our guest room so I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand with the book because it's like party planning and having people over and I don't know I'm just feeling like very inspired to learn more about how to be a better host so yeah I'm very excited to get her new book uh, you know I might get a couple of other books we'll see <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm gonna spend too much money though because yesterday my mom and I went to Ikea so maybe I will give you guys a tour of the guest room later today um, and yeah so I'm gonna go inside now. I'm sitting out front of my parents house So I will catch you guys in a little bit. So I'm now here with my mom Hi teacups, and we're gonna go to the mall. We're gonna go to Barnes and Noble and probably gonna go to Kirkland's too Yeah, yeah, so yesterday we went to Ikea. We found the perfect bed frame and it was the last one of its kind. <laughs> and it was really hard to find a full size bed frame, like most of them were like queen size or king size, but we found the very last one, and it was so beautiful, wasn't it? It was beautiful. Yeah. It was such a blessing, a miracle. Yes, and we were even gonna go like a, like a day later, but we decided to go like a day earlier, and I feel like if we hadn't have decided to go a day earlier, we wouldn't have gotten the bed frame. So it all worked out really well, and just feeling so inspired to decorate, and it looks so good. So good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already told the teacups that I'm gonna give them a tour later today, so. Yay! Yeah! I mean, it's not like completely finished, but I feel like it's at a point where I could do a little tour. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. it's pretty much put together. So um, my parents came over to my house last night and my dad um, put the bed frame together because I thought I was going to be able to do it myself, but no. <laughs> that took a lot longer than what we were expecting. <laughs> she actually fell asleep. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we were, we were watching um, a Shane Dawson video while my dad was putting up the bed frame and we were watching um, his series on the Queen Mary um, because my mom and dad actually stayed on the Queen Mary when was it like a year ago yeah yeah and um, you know since it's October we wanted to watch something kind of spooky so we were watching that last night and yeah I yeah I just love Shane Dawson series and stuff um, and I someday really want to go on the Queen Mary. I think that would be so cool. It's so fun. Yeah, just anything haunted, like, oh, I just love that kind of stuff. <laughs> So it turns out that Burns and Noble doesn't actually have cordially invited, but I did get a pink drink. And my mom got a little brownie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gluten free. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Sorry, I might have brownie in my teeth. <laughs> but um, we're gonna try Target and see if they have cordially invited. Um, but we're still gonna look around at the mall before we do that, so. So we're in Kirkland's now, and I was looking for something that said be our guest for the guest room, and I found this. That's so cute. Put it on the door handle, you know? Mm -hmm. I like the color, too. I do too. How much is this? $8.99. It's only $8.99. That's not bad at all. Not bad. I think I'm gonna get that. This would be cute to put in the guest bathroom. These are cute. Oh, those are cute. I look for the fall. Oh yeah, I like the little orange. I do too. You don't usually see that color, that rust color. Yeah, not for pajamas especially. I like the plaid with it. Yeah, that's cute. 
Oh, I love a good pair of fuzzy socks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacups, update. So we went to Target to look for the book and they didn't have it either. And so now, I'm just wondering if, since, you know, it's from the UK, is it not released here yet? I don't know, I Googled it, it said that the publishing date, like it said it was gonna be available worldwide on the 4th, so now, yeah. This was gonna be a book shopping vlog and I didn't get a book. I'm just wondering when is it gonna be released in the US or is it released in the US? I just didn't look at the right places. Let me know in the comments down below if you live in the US and you're able to find Cordially Invited by Zoe Sugg because I'm just confused. I don't know when it comes out. But um, I got some little, those little like um, Halloween cookies with the pumpkins on them. So I'm gonna bake those when I get home. I told Harold and he's very excited. So that'll be something. Um, but yeah, sometimes things don't go the way you plan, but it's okay. I say hallelujah anyway. Hallelujah anyway. So my mom bought a fragrance melt warmer instead of a candle. I mean, she still has her candles and stuff, but um, these have the little wax melts. She got, oh, why is that not focusing? There we go. She got leaves, which is like the best autumn scent. And I always like to get a good mix of like the, um, kind of the fresh and then the sweet. So that's what I got. I'm so excited. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty, Abby? That is pretty. See, isn't that cute? That's really cute. So see, there's the little, little wax. Yeah, see what you do is you just you break off a little piece. Yeah. Like a little piece of chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it lasts a long time. It really does. Yeah. I like the extra light that it provides for the, you know, just the kitchen counter. I know. It's really cute. It's really cute. It's starting to melt. Yay! It smells so good. And look, my mom has her little sparkly pumpkins. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I am in our guest room slash my new office and this has been something that I worked on all last week and I'm so excited to finally give you a tour. So you will see a lot of Harry Potter stuff around here, a lot of girly stuff. It's very, very me. So um, I hope you guys enjoy the tour. So we're going to start with the little sign that I got at Kirkland's. So I have this here on the doorknob. And then let's see, let's start with the bookshelf. Okay, so real quick, before I show you this, um, it will probably change, but that will probably be a whole nother video. Um, but right now I just have it set up. I don't know, it's just kind of a temporary setup, but I will probably do another video where I decorate it. So I'll just show you what I have right now. Oh, and real quick behind me, there is this little photo. It says, so in love with you. And I really like the polka dot backgrounds and like the watercolor splash. And then, so over here on my bookshelf, I have some fairy lights because you gotta have some fairy lights to create a nice and cozy space. Now the bookshelf itself, I have had since I was either two or three years old. So I pretty much had this my whole life, which I really, really love. And you can see here, it has little details right here. And I think that is so 
pretty. Um, and at the very, very top, I've got some old pictures of Harold and me. And then I've got my illustrated edition of the Philosopher's Stone. And I have this little Hogwarts suitcase. So my parents bought this for me at the Universal Studios. And inside the suitcase, there is a little Hogwarts stationery set, which is really cute. And then I have my Ron Funko Pop in the Hogwarts Express. And over here, I have the illustrated edition of the Chamber of Secrets. This is actually my favorite cover out of all the Harry Potter books. I think it is so beautiful. And then I've got my Luna Lovegood glasses. I found these at Barnes & Noble. And then this shelf will definitely change because it's kind of a mess. But um, I have my old editions of Goblet of Fire and Order of the Phoenix. You can tell that they have been read many, many times. Um, and then I have my new edition of the Order of the Phoenix and the UK edition of the Order of the Phoenix. And then I have Three Dark Crowns. I've got The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding, A Study in Charlotte, Very Good Lives by J.K. Rowling. I'm actually going to be reading these books plus The Sorcerer's Stone for the Charms Extra Credit Readathon. If you don't know what that readathon is, I'll have that linked down below. Um, then I've got my Queenie Funko Pop. I love Queenie. She is my favorite character in Fantastic Beasts. Then I have this really soft, beautiful pillow from Universal Studios. And then I've just got some random books going on over here. But like I said, this shelf I will definitely be redecorating. I don't know if I'm gonna redo this one though. I kind of like the way that one turned out but I don't know we'll see um, I've just got some random books here and then um, I've got the movie scrapbook for Fantastic Beasts I have Harry Potter a journey through a history of magic and then I have the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the prisoner of Azkaban then at the bottom here I've got my new candles sitting out so you guys saw those earlier. Then I have <laughs> a pile of old college textbooks. So I need to take those to half price books. Um, and then I've got this lamp. This is from Ikea. This is something that my mom and I picked up yesterday. And I actually had these very same lamps in my old bedroom when I lived at my parents' house. So it's like with this and my old furniture, I feel like I'm in my old bedroom. It's so crazy. Um, so I have this one. And then I also, we got two of them. And this one's just like chilling over here because I don't know where to put it. Then for the bed, I'm so excited <laughs> because I really love the way this turned out. So here, I'm gonna step as far back as I can so you can really see it. Um, so this bed we got from Ikea and I absolutely love it. And then I got this little fuzzy rug, which is so cute. So on the bed, I got this bedding set from Target and the bedding set came with this pillow and then I found this pillow at Target, it says Girl Boss. I'm gonna have to like take a lint roller and get that fuzz off of it, but I thought that was really cute, especially since this is kind of like my office. I thought that was kind of perfect for that. And then I have this polka dot pillow and that's from Ikea. Then I have this little tray, which I picked up at Kirkland's today. I actually have two of these. I have one for up here and one for downstairs. Um, and then I've got my newer editions of Harry Potter. I have this cute little teapot. So my dad actually bought this for me because, you know, my YouTube channel is called Abigail's Cup of Tea. So I thought that was really, really sweet and I think it looks really cute. And then this blanket, I love this blanket. It's like a, like a sweater knit and it's super cozy and I love the color. This is like my favorite color, um, kind of like that light rose pink. Um, so that is from Ikea. And then over here, we have this little nightstand. This is from Ikea as well. This was only $8.99, which is so exciting. <laughs> and it's super easy to put together. So I really like the white. I actually have the black ones in mine and Harold's bedroom. And then on this little table, I have my letter board and it says swish and flick. And I've got my little Hermione Funko Pop standing next to it because I thought that was perfect. 
I have my little chocolate frog box from Universal Studios. Inside the box, <laughs> I have a little chocolate frog. This is actually an eraser. It's not a real chocolate frog. So, and then I have my little trading card, Salazar Slytherin. And close this back up. Okay. Then I have my favorite wand, which is Luna Lovegood's wand. And this little pot is from Ikea. Once again, it's in my favorite color. And I think it ties in really well with the blanket. So yeah, I think that's perfect. And then I have this little plant. It's not real, but I think it looks pretty real. Um, I always like to name my plants. So if you guys wanna give me any suggestions for a name, um, that would be great. Then I have my cork board, and on here I have the Charms Extra Credit announcement. And once again, I'll have my TBR video for this readathon linked down below. But this begins on the 8th and goes until the 14th, and I'm really, really excited. And then I have these two prints. These are so beautiful, and these are from my Geek Gear box. And then I have different pins. This one is from, did I get that at Universal? Yeah, I did get that at Universal. And this one's from Geek Gear. And this one's from Geek Gear. This one's from Loot Crate. And then these two are from Geek Gear. But this is like my favorite print. It's so pretty. I really like the light colors. Um, and then we have the Quidditch World Cup as well, which is also really beautiful. And then over here, this is where I'm going to be editing my videos. So I've had this desk and that bookshelf my whole life. <laughs> and this also has that detailing of the little flowers and leaves, which is so pretty. And then, hanging on here, I have my time turner. Then I have some pictures of Harold and me. I have another picture of Harold and me. This picture is really old. I don't even know what year this was taken. I think maybe like 2012. And then I have this little music box, and this is so cool, and I can't believe I haven't shown this to you guys before, um, but this is a Harry Potter music box, and my friend Brayden got this for me for my birthday. Here, I'm gonna play it for you. Let me set this down. I don't know if I can do this with one hand, so I might have to set the camera down. Then I have my little cookies and my laptop, of course. And then I've got my reusable Starbucks cup. I have a little candle going. It's caramel pumpkin swirl. And then I have this. It says, leaves are falling, autumn is calling. And last but not least, I have my Hufflepuff scarf hanging on the back of my chair and this is from Universal Studios. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm just really, really happy with the way that this turned out. What do you think, Ellie? Oh, she likes that blanket. Oh, you ready for bed? Oh, yep, I think that's a yes. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm gonna eat my Halloween cookies and then I'm going to take my makeup off and get some sleep. So I will see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!